It's been a few months since I started doing research on the Rosset's clade. This wonderful clade has more than 70,000 species and it contains more than one quarter of all flowering and fruiting plants, which are the angiosperms. This clade contains some of the plants I cherish the most, like grapefruit, almonds, maples, cannabis, coca, cacao, apples, and much more. It is fascinating to me to really take time and research plants at such a deep level. It truly teaches me so much I didn't know. For example, that cucumbers grow a beautiful yellow flower underneath it. And as the cucumber starts to grow, the flower starts to wither. I recently came across a quote from ecologist Peter Warshall that says, find non-human teachers. And I truly stand by the truth of that saying. Not that human teachers aren't amazing, they are. We are so wonderful and I vow to all human teachers. On the other hand, I believe having non-human teachers like plant, animal, or fungi teachers, is also key to learn from Earth's wisdom. Having uncensored, unsupervised, direct relationship with our non-human kin is so important. Anyways, that's a little bit of what I've been thinking about while painting. Hello, it is Thursday and yesterday we've received one of the most amazing things, a thing that we've been waiting for the longest time and I've shared a lot of things throughout the years in this channel with you, but what I'm about to share with you may be the most exciting thing ever and that is that Evo's book is already out. Yesterday we got all the copies, they arrived and if you don't if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Evo, my husband, he just published his first book. It's called Take This With You, A Simple Guide for Our Crazy Adventures on Earth. And if you don't know anything about Evo, Evo's my husband and he's an amazing writer. He's one of these person that has 
all the talents in the world at the same time. He's a writer, he's an amazing cook, he's a psychedelic integration coach, he's a video editor, and he's all the things besides being an amazing human being. And this is his first book to be published ever. He did self-publishing and I'm just so excited that these are out. You're welcome to check the website where they are available. They're available worldwide and throughout the months, I'm sure Eva will also be looking up to have it at different libraries, but we just got them yesterday. But when I'm posting these videos, the books are now available. You're free to check them out on Evo's website, which is sweetunburned.com. And I absolutely love this book. It's been such a gift to see the process of it. And this book features 10 tips for our life. Um, let me read you the back part, which is so funny, and it's a little of what the book is about. So, take this with you, a simple guide for our crazy adventures on Earth. Fellow traveler, if you've ever asked yourself, life, what the f bro, then take this with you, a short book with big answers to lighten your load. This book was written by Evo, is 10 tips for our life on earth for anyone, anywhere, at any point of their life. And the book was written by Evo and it was illustrated by Jose Ramos, who is one of Evo's best friends. And it's also one of these humans that makes all the things good. Jose is an amazing illustrator. He's also um, a musician and an engineer and all the things at the same time. But the book is this 10 tips. The book is a hardcover board book, so it has those very thick pages, like children's books, which I love. And I don't want to spoil it, but every single page has an illustration that features each of the tips for life. Um, I don't want to spoil it anymore, but I encourage you to take this with you if it's something that interests you or just check out the website. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's for someone you love. <laughs> I just wanted to share this with you because you have no idea how excited we are. Evo ordered 500 copies for them. Um, and yeah, just wanted to share how happy we are that Evo's first published book is out. We've come to the part of the vlog where I say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace has been the online home of my website, my online shop, my art portfolio and my email campaigns since 2018 and I couldn't recommend them enough. Some of my favorite current features from Squarespace include their password protected sites where I'm able to share a specific type of portfolio and work with clients and not only websites, I can actually also have secret web shops. I have a web shop that is exclusive for Patreon where they can get previous month rewards. I also love their automatic image scaling with the one I can showcase my artwork in the best way possible in any device that people are watching my website from and a lot of other wonderful things. If you're looking to open your own online business, your own creative business, or if you're looking to showcase your artwork or portfolio online, make sure to use the code CAROAREVALO on your first purchase of a website or domain with Squarespace. Now let's go back to the vlog. These past few weeks, I also worked on the art for a mushroom sticker featuring Marcella Esculenta. Morel mushroom is an exquisite edible mushroom featured in a lot of cuisines, but especially the French one. We also have Cordyceps militaris, as well as Pesisa violacea, known as Violet Fairy Cup and Cucaina speciosa. One of the main reasons I decided to start my fungi painting back in 2020 was because I knew very little to nothing from fungi and I wanted to deepen my knowledge on them. 
I still feel I have a long way to go in order to really learn all things fungi, but I have gained a lot of knowledge from making that painting. Making this sticker was very easy as I already knew the mushrooms I was painting in them from my fungi painting. This is one of the main reasons why I love to paint nature. It helps me learn from it and learn about it. For me, it's easier to retain information this way and I believe I will never mistake how a morel looks like in comparison to a cordyceps or perhaps a reishi. Long life to the many ways in the one's creativity and art help expand our knowledge and connect deeper to our other kingdom kin. The Asco Micota stickers are here. I'm so happy with how they turned out and the contrast that the colors that I chose make with the craft color. I chose the Morel and I actually wanted to work on the Cordyceps. A lot of our friends have been watching The Last of Us and they've been like, I cannot believe you knew about Cordyceps and didn't let us know. We're all turning into zombies, which is so far away from the truth. I believe, or that's what someone who is infested would cor with cordyceps would say. Um, but I couldn't help myself. I had to include cordyceps and these other two, which I don't remember their names right now. I'm sure I've mentioned them before in this video, but I'm so happy with how these turned out. And now every month I'm combining the theme of the sticker with the theme of the postcard. So this month, everything was all about the Asco Micota fungi. These are all mushrooms. And here we have penicillium, which is a fungi. It doesn't have a fruiting body. The rest are mushrooms. And they're all, all fungi still. I hope I'm not confusing anyone. So these were the combo of fungi for my Patreon on March. And I share the process of making these ones on Procreate on a few blocks before. And now I'm also doing like custom backgrounds, which I'm very happy with how they're turning out. And today is packing patron rewards kind of thing. As you may have noticed, I am currently doing half the amount of videos I used to do on YouTube, as I wanted to focus more on painting, and I have definitely been able to see how much more painting I am getting done so far this year. It has always felt like a tricky balance between wearing the creative hat and wearing the small business hat. This is something I've been exploring and learning to balance for a long time, and I feel I am slowly starting to catch a rhythm that works for me. This is helping me be able to dive deeper into the research as well as the painting, and I haven't even started the observation under the microscope for this painting yet. There are so many aspects towards making one of my paintings and I really love how deep I go on each part of it. Some of the plants I painted today include maple, English oak, cannabis, soy, and almonds. With this painting, I am working on new leaves, fruit, and seed shapes I hadn't worked on before. 
and it is always a great challenge to learn new shapes and also try to understand how the shadow works for each of these complex shapes. Plants can be so intricate and before painting, I take some time to observe a lot of photographs from each of these species I will be painting. In that way, then I can understand the shapes, colors and relationships in between one section of the plant and another. For the past three months, I've been taking a meditation teacher training course. I am still halfway through it, and so far I've been learning so much from it. Part of the training is, of course, deepening our own personal meditation practice. I have been practicing meditation since August last year, every single day, but Three months ago, I started practicing a new mindfulness meditation, which is new to me. It consists of sitting down in silence for 20 minutes with eyes open and just focusing on the breath. No guidance, just silence. It was very challenging at first, but I feel that slowly it has become a beautiful practice to really pay attention to how busy my mind gets and slowly start enjoying more and more the moments of silence. Ever since starting this practice, I've been enjoying silence and stillness so much more, turning my phone off more often, disconnecting the Wi-Fi, and being just a little bit more present. I know it sounds so simple, but it is a very big game changer for my peace of mind, literally. I can't wait to keep studying, learning, practicing, and one day soon sharing these practices with others. My friends from Cacao Lab sent me the ultimate dream box full of ceremonial grade cacao and their botanical infused chocolate bars. And it is truly what dreams are made of. Unfortunately, I am not having any cacao as I'm following an Ayurvedic protocol. And I thought instead of hoarding all these cacao, 
why not gift it away to some of my friends and cacao lovers? So on a rainy afternoon, I sat down to write some love letters to a few of my friends, send them some pressed flowers and some cacao. I am big on writing handwritten letters to my friends, but hadn't sat down to write a few of them at the same time in a long time. There's just something magical about handwritten letters and receiving unexpected gifts. That is everything for today's vlog. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. And yeah, if you like what you see here, feel free to subscribe to this channel to give this video a thumbs up, which helps a lot, or even leave a comment so the algorithm gods don't punish me any longer. <laughs> you are also welcome to check out my Patreon where I post patron exclusive videos and where we hang out every month on a monthly call. There's a bunch of stuff going on there. I'm also around on Instagram. And thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you some other time. Bye.